9. Wa Tiba and Akbar Salubiro 54-year-old Wa Tiba vanished one night in 2018 while tending her garden on the Indonesian island of Muna. After noticing her absence, her relatives and friends started searching for her. They found her sandals and other belongings, then saw an extremely bloated 23-foot-long, 7 meters, python nearby. Suddenly, they were overcome with a feeling of dread over Watiba's fate. Their suspicions proved correct when they cut the snake open and found the woman's body inside. The python had constricted her to death and swallowed her whole. A 25-year-old palm oil plantation worker named Akbar Salubiro, who also lived in Indonesia, experienced a similar fate just one year earlier in 2017. When he failed to return home from work, his family got worried and called the police. In the meantime, a search party looked for the young man. Later that day, someone spotted a reticulated python in his backyard. It was so bloated that it could barely move. Villagers cut the reptile open and found their missing friend's body. Salubiro's death became the first recorded case of a reticulated python killing and eating an adult human, followed not long after by Watiba's case the next year. Sadly, some people overheard Salubiro's anguished pleas for help the night before, but failed to do anything. If they had only helped him, he could still be alive today. 8. Devendra Mishra a 50-year-old farmer from India's Uttar Pradesh district recently decided to have some fun with a snake he caught in his neighbor's house. Devendra Mishra was a well-known snake catcher in his village, which is presumably why his neighbor asked for his help after spotting a venomous crate snake inside their home. The species, along with the Indian cobra, Russell's viper, and the saw-scaled viper, cause nearly 90% of all of India's snake bites according to Newsweek. Native to India, the crate's venom has been known to cause paralysis, difficulty breathing, and even death. Crates are shy by nature and typically tend to avoid humans, but like all animals, they won't hesitate to attack if they feel provoked or threatened. The only effective way to treat a bite is with a large dose of antivenom, which is often unavailable in rural parts of the country. And even when the antivenom is available, recovering from a crate bite is a difficult process. Patients often experience complications, resulting in hundreds of thousands of amputations and disabilities every year. But this didn't stop Mishra, who reportedly paraded around his village with the snake coiled around his neck after the catch even stopping to dangle it around the neck of a five-year-old child during his victory lap. Just an hour after the successful capture, the crate sunk its fangs into Mishra's flesh. He tried to alleviate his symptoms with herbal remedies, but he died the next day. Looks like his celebrations came too early. 7. Little Girl vs. Big Snake A nine-year-old girl from Australia's Northern Territory woke up screaming one night last year with a searing pain in her feet. She went to bed just an hour earlier. A king brown snake somehow made its way into her family's home and slithered its way into her bedroom. Her father, Jason Phillips, told The Guardian that he and the girl's mother just thought she had had a nightmare. But when she told her parents her feet were hurting, they pulled her bedding back and saw the snake on the mattress. Jason and his wife removed their daughter from the room and shut the snake in while they waited for a catcher to come and take care of things. In the meantime, they bandaged the girl's wounds and called for medical help. A bite from a king brown snake, also known as a mulga snake, can be very serious. While its venom isn't as potent as some of Australia's snakes, the species is known to deliver it in very large amounts. Bite symptoms include pain and swelling, tissue death at the injection site, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, sweating, headache, muscle paralysis, and even kidney problems. The last known death from a king brown snake bite happened in 1969, thanks to highly effective antivenoms. 
but it's imperative that patients get treated immediately to avoid death or any lasting effects. The little girl was admitted to the intensive care unit and remained in the hospital for several days. Luckily, it seemed like she received the antivenom on time to avoid permanent damage. 6. David Tate David Tate was making a cup of tea at his home near Brisbane, Australia one day in 2020, when two large snakes fell through the ceiling and onto his kitchen floor. The retired man looked in shock as the oversized reptiles slithered off into his bedroom and living room. He called for the help of a professional snake catcher named Stephen Brown, who later told the Today Show that both snakes seemed to be male. At 8.2 feet (2.5 meters) and 9 feet (2.8 meters) long, and weighing nearly 50 pounds, 23 kilograms combined. They were some of the biggest and fattest he had ever seen. Brown believed the pair were fighting over a third female snake that he suspected was somewhere inside Tate's home, but was unable to find. The two that he caught were moved to a state forest. Tate said that he had seen large snakes around his house before, but never as big as the ones that fell through his ceiling, and certainly never indoors. The encounter happened during a time of the year when snakes come out from hibernation, leading to an expected uptick in sightings throughout the country. But it's understandable that people don't expect these creatures to crash land into their homes, let alone such enormous snakes. 5. Fisherman vs. Anaconda most people are terrified by the mere thought of encountering a green anaconda. Growing up to 30 feet or 9.1 meters long and weighing as much as 550 pounds, 250 kilograms, the species is considered the world's largest snake. And while it's non-venomous, they can kill prey by constricting them and could easily kill a human. But the dangers of going near these gargantuan reptiles apparently didn't register with a fisherman that was filmed grabbing a massive anaconda by its tail in the Amazon. In the viral clip, he grasps the creature from a boat while two amused passengers laugh seemingly unaware of the life-threatening risks involved with harassing one of these giant snakes. The footage first appeared on Reddit, generating a bunch of feedback from users who disapproved of the man's behavior, and others who saw it as no big deal. One commenter pointed out that there are no known instances of an anaconda killing a human on record, and that the fisherman was likely just messing with the snake to make a quick video. As it turned out, the clip was originally recorded in 2014, but resurfaced again this year. The three men in the boat were reportedly fined $600 each for harassing the creature. One Redditor explained that a frightened anaconda might regurgitate its last meal, and that throwing up such a large amount of food could actually kill the snake. By trying to get a reaction out of the anaconda, the fishermen may have been putting the snake in more danger than they were even aware of. 4. Bob Thatcher Native to southern Australia, the tiger snake is one of the world's most venomous reptiles. Symptoms from its bite can range from pain, swelling, and tingling, to paralysis and even difficulty breathing. Between 40 and 60 percent of untreated bites result in death making it important for victims to receive antivenom as soon as possible after getting bitten. But the 80-year-old retired banker named Bob Thatcher knew that accessing antivenom would be a problem if the tiger snake he found in his small fishing boat last year decided to bite into his flesh. At just three feet, one meter long, the snake was half the length of Bob's boat he was nearly 7 miles or 11 kilometers away from shore when he saw it lurking just inches from his feet. Not knowing what else to do, Thatcher started the 30-minute journey back to shore. In the meantime, he called the professional snake catcher Baden Peter and arranged to meet up with him at the boat ramp. Peter later told The Guardian that tiger snakes can behave unpredictably and that some tend to be more aggressive than others. Luckily, the stowaway who invaded Thatcher's boat wasn't too bad, in Peter's words, and it just slithered away when he released it. 
The dutiful snake catcher thinks the creature made its way onto the boat from the water after mistaking the vessel for dry land. Bob was extremely lucky the snake didn't bite him on the way back to land, which would have provided plenty of time for the effects to prove fatal. Speaking with The Guardian, a snake venom expert named Jeffrey Isbister explained that a severe enough bite can cause a victim to collapse in as little as 15 minutes. Once a person is bit, it becomes a race against time to reach the nearest hospital and receive the antivenom to get a chance at survival. 3. Copperhead vs. Kindergartner A five-year-old child named Daniel was picking up leaves with his uncle outside his home in Houston, Texas earlier this year, when he accidentally picked up a copperhead snake. The venomous reptile quickly bit Daniel's hand, prompting his uncle to kill the creature with a pair of gardening shears. He then rushed his nephew to the emergency room, where doctors administered antivenom to try and save his life. Luckily, Daniel survived the close call. His aunt, Brandy Smith, told the Fort Worth Star-Telegram she had never been so frightened in her whole life. The little boy was still in the hospital when she spoke with the newspaper. But Smith said Daniel's labs looked good and that he was due to be released that day. It's easy to understand how Daniel failed to spot the copperhead. The species is known for blending in with their environment and hiding from humans. While venomous, they're not aggressive, and will usually just try to flee before biting. Bites have the potential to be fatal if left untreated, but it's extremely rare for people to die from copperhead venom thanks to the widespread availability of its antivenom. 2. Deadly Snake Invades School A professional snake catcher named Stuart McKenzie knew that time was of the essence when he was called to a school in Queensland, Australia earlier this year. A four-foot-long, or 1.2 meters, eastern brown snake was slithering freely throughout the building's halls and found its way into the school's library. Commonly considered the world's second most venomous snake, beaten only by the inland taipan, the eastern brown snake is the deadliest among Australia's nine recognized brown snake species. Its bites can be especially deceptive. While its venom contains neurotoxins, the effects aren't typical for a neurotoxic envenomation. There are often very few noticeable symptoms around the wound site, but horrifying effects tend to appear within minutes, including nausea, vomiting, low blood pressure, severe internal bleeding, sweating, headache, abdominal pain, and even cardiac arrest. Like with most venomous snake bites, it's imperative for victims to receive antivenom as soon as they can. Mackenzie knew the outcome could be especially bad if a child was bitten by the unwelcome eastern brown snake that had entered the local school. In a Facebook post, he filmed himself rushing to the building and heading to the library, where he found that the snake had gone out onto a balcony. By then, all the children had been evacuated while employees kept a watchful and distant eye on the snake. Luckily, Mackenzie had an easy enough time catching the reptile and nobody was hurt. He took it away from the property and released it into the wild, where it casually slithered off and carried on with its day like nothing had happened. 1. Cottonmouth Snake Bites Kid a seven-year-old boy named Elijah was playing in his backyard in Green Cove Springs, Florida this year when he accidentally provoked a venomous snake. He went to pick up a rock and came face to face with a cottonmouth snake, also called a water moccasin. The reptile lunged forward and bit the child's knee, according to his mother, Sanita Bustamante, who spoke at the local news station WJAX. While remembering the harrowing ordeal, Bustamante said Elijah began to shake uncontrollably as he was rushed to the hospital, where he received seven doses of antivenom and was put on a feeding tube. He was unable to eat anything for four days. The outlook for Elijah's recovery was good when he was released from the hospital, but he was still sore and had to use a wheelchair while healing. For a young child who wants nothing more than to play with his brothers, being restricted to a wheelchair was supremely disappointing. But Elijah remained in good spirits overall. And he wasn't the first child to have a run-in with a venomous snake this year in Florida. 
By the time Elijah was bitten, about 40 other bites had been reported across 10 counties, with the victims ranging from 3 to 75 years old. Experts say water moccasin bites are relatively rare and that the creatures are naturally non-aggressive. Most bites happen as a result of someone stepping on one or picking one up by hand, which often happens when someone is trying to catch or kill them. But there are also, unfortunately, cases like Elijah's, where a person unintentionally stumbles across the creature and provokes an aggressive reaction without intending to. Water moccasin bites can be fatal, especially without any treatment. The faster a victim receives antivenom, the higher their chances of survival, and the lower their chances of suffering lasting damage, which can include muscle damage and the loss of extremities. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be stuck in a room with a massive non-venomous snake or a small snake that could put you in the hospital with one bite? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.